But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends and let us have some halal fun. Uh, first, I want to say thank you for all those who share the videos and the link. So now we have the 20,000 and as we promised, we come back live when we have a 20. So the same, do now. Please invite your friends, share. So as many as, as soon as we reach the 20,000, we will be back live on air again. Uh, today our topic is about Muhammad describing Islam in a very weird way. I mean, weird, not for me, weird for somebody claiming that Islam is a religion of God or Islam is the truth. Let us not to waste time and read together. If we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, which is additional yellow pages, not the Quran, this time it's the book of Hadith. Muhammad, he have a prophecy about his religion. We will start first with this one. Chapter of a clarifying that Islam is started as something strange and will revert to being something strange and it will retreat between the two masjid. This is the title. Let us zoom in so people can see the title. And this is the book of Sahih Muslim and this is an Islamic website, sunnah.com. The Book of Faith, Kitab al-Iman, Hadith number 146. And actually, I, you know, I look at the comment before I go live and I saw one of the comments speaking about it. So I said, let us go and talk about it then. This is why I say your comment can be an inspiration. It is narrated on the authority of Ibn Umar, etc., etc., that the Messenger of Allah saying, Verily, Islam started as something strange and it would again revert between two bracket to its old position of being strange just as started and it would recede between the two mosques just as the serpent crawl back into its hole if you think about it, I find this is astonishing. Muhammad here is describing his religion as not only as a snake, as a serpent. And serpent is a word used to describe specifically something evil. A kind of a snake which present evil.
And to make it more ugly, Muhammad, he is saying that Islam will go back into its hole. Read carefully. I'm not the one who's making translation. This is not my, this is not a Christian website. This is not my words. My voice is gone. No, my voice is coming. It's going to go back into its hole. Let's make a line underneath so people can see. I want to stop with crawls back. Crawls back. Do you see it? Back. This is where Islam came from. From what? From a hole. As what? As a serpent. If we ask the Muslims, the Muhammadan, those who worship Muhammad, and they believe that Muhammad is God and Allah is his prophet, because this is the fact. You see, the Muslims, they say, the prophet is the servant of Allah, blah, blah, blah. But then what Muhammad say, we follow. And what Allah say, we don't. Allah say we do muta'ah, Muhammad say don't do muta'ah no more, we follow what Muhammad said. And Muhammad, he made himself God on earth, and then he said, I am the servant of Allah, and at the same time, he is Allah on earth. <laughs> what, a, what a mockery, you know? <laughs> so, here Muhammad, uh, uh, yeah, actually, we have, uh, we have many verses in the Bible about the serpent, and they are really, really describing something evil pure evil the serpent in the Bible present even from the time of Adam that the serpent is the one who deceived Adam and Eve if you go to the book of Genesis chapter 3 I don't know verse number if you read I'm trying to remember maybe I don't know uh, Genesis 3 somebody can can give me the number you know uh, where it speak about the serpent uh, which deceived Adam and Eve and how God cursed that serpent. And that serpent present literally a Satan. This is Satan himself. So when Muhammad, he descri described his religion not as a snake only, they describe it as a serpent who will go back to its hole. I find this a self-confession from Muhammad that his religion is a snaky, snake, satanic, and it's coming from under the ground. The Muslims today, what is painful for the Muslims to, uh, about this story here, and they cannot say this is a weak and you know the garbage they keep coming to us, and they say we don't accept this. This is the uh, Eve. This is Sahih Muslim, and we can show it to you from other books too. The scary about this for the Muhammadans, the bad news about it, Muhammad is predicting that his religion is going to go back to zero. And here, actually, I want to remind people that's in the book of Numbers. Let me see. Let me let me find the verses. Give me a second, because I'm not sure of the number. Uh, in the book of number Numbers, we have the first question. Oh, not you again! Come on. <laughs> first question <laughs> did you answer the first question did you answer the second I mean <laughs> the first question okay let us go here uh, book of numbers <clears throat> uh, 
All right, let us see here the book of number. Okay. I'm not sure what verses yet. Yeah, okay, we found it. Hold on. It says. <coughs> I go to six. All right. You will see in the book of Numbers that the serpent they came as a curse on the people. The serpent, they are the same as a penalty from the Lord. You know, he, he unleashed all, uh, all the evil. He exposed them to their evil because they are doing evil. And the serpent came along among the people. And they bite the people. And many of the people of Israel died. Here you need to stop and ask yourself. The first thing the serpent did when it came, he started killing the Jews. He started killing the people of Israel. And many of people of Israel did die. That is Islam. It's a clean cut in the front of your face. You cannot deny it. You can't say it doesn't say that. In the book of Mark, in the Bible, we have a phrase or sentence about how the Christians, they will pick up the serpent Let us see. <clears throat> uh, here there's a promise from the Lord that those who follow him and those who believe in him and those who they are true Christians the serpent, which is Muhammad and his religion, cannot affect you. When the Lord, he told them to go and teach, go and preach, go into the whole world and preach and teach the gospel for every person. And the one who believed, he should be baptized and be saved. And the one who don't believe, he will be condemned. And then those Christians, they can cast demons. They have the power. And if they take up a serpent, and if they drink anything deadly, it will not, or and by no mean, it hurt them. Some people here, they take it as a something, uh, literally. They say like Paul, he, you know, he pick up a serpent or whatever, you know, like, but this is really more than poison. All of us, we knew that all the disciples being killed, right? We know that the Lord himself was crucified. So this is not about physical hurting. The Lord himself, he says, don't fear those who destroy your body, your flesh. Fear those who destroy your spirit. So those who they are, the true Christians, they will be able to play with the serpent as we do today. And the serpent will not be able to hurt us. See, we read the book of Satan, the Quran, every day. Every day. But the poison of this book, 
cannot affect us. It makes us stronger. Are we listening? Every day, this is what we do here, right? I mean, all of you who come to listen to me, 99.9999% like the Middle Eastern election is about the book of Satan, the Quran. And yet this book cannot affect us. In fact, what we do here by reading this book, it makes us more strong in faith. How we do respond to the Quran sound the Quran sound beautiful. Well, just to change the guy who is singing it and you will see it's not beautiful. As simple as that. If you if you give any book, a newspaper to somebody have a nice voice, well, the sound will look, will, will look fine. You know, will look good. I mean, most of the sing songs today is the F word, S-H-I-T. Still people buy it and they find it very beautiful. So this is a very false this is why ask him first if the Quran is so beautiful, then everybody can sing it. It's going to turn beautiful, right? Why you choose the best sounds to sing it then? Anyone who hold the Quran in his hand, go to the speaker corner, say to Abdul, hey, can you recite the Quran for us? And let us see how, how funny it is. So they choose the best of them <laughs> to, to sing the Quran, and they say it is it's beautiful. The funny is, for me, it's not beautiful at all, because even if the sound is good, the voice is good of the person, but the meaning is so stupid. It's like when somebody says, I, I, you know, I, I went to my room and I got the broom because I saw a rat and he was so fat. But there's nothing there. I mean, what is that? This is the Quran. There's no connection between, between, between even the words. So when, a, when an idiot, he speak about how beautiful it is, tell him, can you sing it for us? Bring 20 Muslims and let us give the Quran to each the same chapter and let us see how, how beautiful it is. You will see that if one of them he have a beautiful voice, it's going to turn fine. If don't, it's going to look funny and stupid. And this is why you see the Muslims they choose, they elect from the Middle East people who have nice voices to go and recite the Quran in Europe so they can affect the hippies. Those things can be hypnotizing the hippies. The hippies, you know, they like they like anything is strange. They sit in the front of the guru, guru. Do, do. Actually, there is a movie. It's called the Love Guru. It's a stupid movie, but it's given you a great example of the hippies of of the stupid people in Europe and the West. A guy coming from the middle of nowhere. He is saying nothing but stupid things, but they find it amazing. Guru, you know. Yeah, so this is why even the, the, the European people, they hypnotize by the yoga. But the fact that yoga is nothing just sitting in your ass and forgetting about everything in the world and be selfish. You will become the center. This is teaching you how to be selfish. And supposedly that is going to make you a better person. So they do yoga, but when the husband die, they burn the wife with the husband. How beautiful, Guru. So, uh, uh, we are smarter than this, and we will not fail into such a, such a trap. And if we want to read verses in the Bible speaking about the serpent, we will find really a huge number of them. I mean, the serpent always presents something very evil. And the Bible promises us that the Son of Man, he will step on the serpent. And that is Jesus. Some they might say to you, how is a son of man? Because he has the flesh of men. But he is a son of no man. Like if you go to Matthew. Matthew. Mm. 
you will see how many time the serpent is all over how it present evil so here we need to ask ourselves a very simple question why Muhammad he chose the serpent and why he chose a phrase saying that Islam will crawl back to its hole sometime evil ones they say the truth even if they meant to lie in chapter 16 in a chapter sorry Matthew 10 uh, verse number uh, 16 here you see that there's different image of the serpent the wise serpent but the serpent cannot be wise because he's evil right the wise serpent is he's very smart he don't do things without thinking carefully about it so the Bible is warning us that if the devil is smart we should be smarter than the devil and the same time harmless but the serpent is not harmless so the wise devil he used his wisdom or his knowledge to harm the wise Christian he have a wisdom but it's not going to be the wisdom of a serpent who do harm is going to be a, a wisdom of harmless as doves so the Bible say clearly that the serpent is extremely smart and wisdom of serpent is the wisdom of the one who know how to deceive you but the wisdom of a Christian who is a wise as a serpent is the wisdom of someone who don't want to harm but want to love and that is the difference between the wise man and the wise Satan he's a wise Satan in his plan how to deceive so Muhammad he come to us and he say I believe in Isa who supported Jesus I believe that Mary she was a virgin I believe in Moses I believe in Abraham that is the wise part of the serpent because we believe in Jesus we believe Mary was virgin we believe in Abraham we believe in Moses we believe the Torah so the wise serpent is the one who used his wisdom to deceive you and this is the wisdom of evil he knew what he's doing but the wise Christian is the one who used his wisdom to help to build not to destroy he is harmless as a dove but his wisdom is going to prevail that's why the Bible says There is a synagogue, is a synagogue of Satan. But it's a synagogue. How the synagogue can be a synagogue of Satan? Because the wise men inside that synagogue, they are wise men as Satan, who they are harm or harming, not harmless. So their wisdom is used for the purpose of hurting and harming. So, when Muhammad he described his religion, he described it in a way which is very scary, speaking about the serpent who will go back to its hole. To where? To the hole. Why Muhammad he described Mecca 
and uh, where Islam coming from as a whole we knew that Mecca is a city or let's say a village Muhammad here is admitting that every snake is going to go back to its hole and he is no better and he is no different so this is snake there's a snake in this earth who they are use you know useful actually they eat rats they don't bite a human and they don't even have poison poison so not all snakes are bad there's a the snakes we need them if you kill all the snakes in the field farmers will suffer badly this is why there's many countries they they don't even touch a snake which is especially those who don't have a poison because they are the best fighters and they are harmless and they are useful to fight against animals who they eat their crops but islam proven to be a very harmful cult the lord he said from their fruits you shall know them from their fruits and muhammad not only described islam as snake muhammad he described the faith of islam not only the islam as religion he described the faith of islam is the same as a snake read carefully with me he also reported that god messenger as saying faith will shrink to medina as a snake shrink back to it is whole Isn't it, this is astonishing? The faith of Islam will shrink back to Medina. The same as a snake or a serpent, here they're using the word uh, uh, snake, but it's a serpent, shrinks back to its hole. So now we have two stories reported by Muhammad one of them saying Islam is start as a strange cult will end as a strange cult nobody will believe in such a garbage and is going to retreat back to its hole and here Islam here is more clear it is the faith of Islam the faith of Islam And this hadith can, by the way, can be found in many places, not only like one place. As you see, this is Sahih. Uh, we can find it in Sahih Muslim, we can find it in Bukhari. So Muslim cannot say, oh, this is weak. And you know, as usual, you know, the garbage. You know, when a Muslim, he tried to refute me, he said, CP, this hadith is mentioned by Ubaidullah from Habib, from uh, Ibn Abdullah, Ibn Abdul Rahman, from Hafs. Brother, it is known that Mr. Hafs is a fraud. Therefore, this hadith is not accepted. Like, what the heck? As long as this guy is known to be fraud, why you why you write what he said then? Do you see the stupidity how they try to fabricate? And this is how they refute me, supposedly. This hadith is reported by Monica Lewinsky, and Monica Lewinsky is known to be the girlfriend of Billy Clinton. Do you trust the women she used to take off her panty in the table of the president? Oh, no, we don't. Okay, but why you, why you are saying this is what she said? Why you make a book, says Monica Lewinsky, she said the prophet was doing boom, boom, for whom, whom? If she isn't trustworthy. So these days, anyone who will make Islam look in embarrassment to Muslims, they say he is not a trustworthy brother. This is how they refute us, brother. And then you will see the Abdul making a map. This guy, Abdullah, brother. Okay, uh, Abdullah. This guy, Abdullah, 
he told the story to Abdul Rahman. Okay, hold on. Let us make it more uh, more. Uh, he told the story to Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman told the story to Abdul Mumin. Abdul Mumin he told the story to Abdul Fuku. And Abdul Fuku he told the story to Abdul Ima. And Abdul Ima he told it to Abdul Suzuki. And Abdul Suzuki he told it to Abdul Toyota. And then Abdul Toyota he told it back to Abdul Okoko. And then Abdul Okoko, which is very known that he like Koko, so this is why he is not accepted because he's a Koko guy. Like what the heck? And this is how they prove that those stories are not valid. And then you ask yourself, as long Koko and Dudu and Susu and Uu they are bad, why you are writing what they say? Who is fooling who here? So obviously those people are trustworthy all those centuries. But today, to make them not trustworthy, we say, oh, this guy, he told this guy, this guy is X because he liked you drink Coca-Cola. And this guy was seen drinking 7-Up. Uh, what the proof he was drinking 7-Up? Because he used to walk seven steps and jump, brother. Okay. And because he told Mumu, and Mumu told Uu, and Uu told Aa, -A, and Aa -A is very well known to be a big liar. So this hadith is not valid. This is what they do. They are the one who wrote the hadith. They are the one who translate the hadith. They are the one who print the hadith. And today, 2022, they are trying to fix the hadith saying, we don't accept this hadith because this guy is a liar. So why you write a liar story? Who is the stupid here? Each time you show them something embarrassing, like just who remember the last hadith we showed you last time? Who remember the story? What we spoke last time? Anyone remember? About Muslim men offering their wives to the new or to the other Muslims, right? Remember? A person from Al Ansar, he said to other person, from the one who is coming from uh, uh, Medina with Muhammad, he said to him, uh, okay, I'm a rich person. I uh, will divide and I have two wives. I will divide my property for you, would you? And I have two wives, go and see the one which you like and take her. This hadith until now is valid. But after I read it, the Muslim, they will say, it's a lie. Because this guy who said this hadith who reported this hadith from, he told it to, and then two he told it from, and two he told it from, two, two, from, from two, and then two, 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 you know, okay, and then this two, two is uh, not uh, trustworthy. But those people, they have it printed, translated, transformed through centuries, and nobody complain about it. But because today it's an embarrassment. How many of you saved this hadith which we mentioned yesterday or today, two days ago? Give me one if you have a link for it. If you save reference. How many of you now are going to save those reference? And by the way, if you ever watch the video later, because most of you, you will do. Always you can find the reference for them by typing exactly the same words in the search engine of sunnah.com or in, in Google. Like, you know, you can go and type the following words and you will find the reference. Whatever you see in the screen. Very easy. Let us say the link now is not there to get, somebody want to give it to you. So how I'm going to get the reference now? It's easy. Just type this. Believe returns and goes back to Medina as a snake returns. Type it. You will find it. Very easy. All right. So uh, you do not need a link now. I mean, uh, if you are watching later, but I advise you to make reference and to give it a title, like make folders. So you don't later go and look for all over where I'm going to find it. 
So you want to prove that uh, Islam is evil. So make a folder that Islam is evil. Islam likes a snake. Make a folder Islam like a snake. Or the hadith about I offer you half of uh, you know of my property and I, I have two wives. Take one of them. This is satanic for sure. You know because when a person he offer his wife to somebody else and he will say I will divorce her so you can have her. Is that because he's a good person or because he's evil? You tell me. Since when good men they share their wives with somebody else. I'm going to divorce this wife so you can take her. What do you think? Oh, thank you. You are very generous. Do you have the hadith that Muhammad, he called them Sa'alik? Yeah, you know, just search the word Sa'alik, you will find it. As long as you know the word. Just type it in the search engine. So, what we find important about this, that Muhammad, he described his religion in a perfect way, and nobody can describe it as better as Muhammad, because obviously he knew the origin of this religion. It is coming from a hole. It is a religion coming from a hole. It is satanic. It is from the ground. It's from evil. Jesus said, I am from above. You are from below. Muhammad is from below. Do we have any Muslim have any objection? Any Muslim have an objection? May they, may they? If you have an objection, it's time for you to say no. Yes. Anyone? Nobody? I always receive emails to Patreon ask me how I can answer this. And then I wonder myself, I say, well, what I'm doing here, why I am going uh, live on air, uh, stay for long, and then they chase me to the email. If you want to ask me a question, you ask me why I'm here, because I will not answer an individual. Why? Because I want people to get the benefit of the answer, not one person. So. I will take this as an exception. A person, one of you, he sent me an email. He said that the chapter five, verse number 51, is not about uh, uh, the Muslims cannot take a Christians and, friend, uh, and friends as a friends or uh, protectors. This is about at that time, those who they are having war with Muhammad. But at that time, Muhammad was not having war with the Christians. Same time, how in the world somebody will take your friend He is your enemy. So when a person, he sent me such an email saying, how I can refute this? I mean, use your brain. If it says don't take them as a friends, obviously they are not enemies. So the, the fool who said to you, this is about people who we have war with them. Like how in the world you have war with them and you it says don't take them as a friends? The stupid website is not working. Let us search for a different website. Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? If somebody, if somebody saying to you, those, this is a verse about not to take them, those who they are having war with you. Have you ever heard somebody having war with me? He would make me as a friend. So I notice sometime that not only the Abdul is not using his brain, even the one is trying to answer. Uh, we have Mr. Khalid, he is saying, let us see. Yeah, Khalid, why you don't call me, my friend? 
I think you are the smarter between all the Abdul. I mean, look, your, your, your comment is the best. Forget about the rest. I think even you can make a debate better than Muhammad himself. So let us see what Abdul here is saying, Mr. Khalid. Chris Emrens, wasn't your gospel made from the disciple of the disciples of the disciples, X7 of the disciples of Jesus? No, Abdul, you are a stupid idiot like your prophet. Even your Quran go against you. When we say the book of John, John was of the disciple, not of the disciple of the disciples. When we say Luke, he is a disciple, not disciple of disciples. So you are a liar. But it is your Quran who is made according to Hafs, according to Asim, according to Abdul Rahman, whatever. According to, according to, according to, according to, according to Uthman, according to Muhammad. We didn't have even the book of Hafs. Do you have it? You don't. When the Muslim they say we have the Quran preserved, I laugh. Because even in the first page of the Quran, if you open it, it's called page A, A in Arabic. It says this Quran is according to, because there's many according to. There's according to Hafs, there's according to Warsh, etc. All your book is according to. However, because you are Abdul, I have a gift for you. What does this have to do with my question? Why your prophet describing Islam as Satan? So this is what the Abdul did do. Let me open this a different uh, uh, search engine because this, uh, uh, this uh, website is not functioning. There's an error. It says error in the network. I don't know why. Uh, Let us find different. If we go in the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find tons of verses making fun of your question. If my book is written according to, according to, according to, according to, and Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus, then how your funny Muhammad saying, agreeing with what they have in their hands. You see all those verses? Is agreeing what they have between their hands. Look, look, how many? Look, 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 look. Look, Abdul, look. Are you in pain? Are you in pain? Well, drink your camel urine then. So, if my book is according to, and then you strip it according to prophet, he says confirming what is with them. What we would do with your prophet then? And here you see the translation saying, as one translation, this is how they lie. Confirming which was with them in this translation. You change the translator, you will find it says confirming what is with them. And the Arabic is so clear. Confirming lima ma'ahum. Lima ma'ahum, what is with them? Fraud, liars. They cannot be decent even when they translate their Quran. If we choose a translation or translators, uh, let us see who. Translation. Where, how where you choose the translation? I don't know. Let us see where you choose them. Website English. We click a translation. We don't see any see anything. Yeah, that's why we like the other website easier to to figure out. I don't see how to change the translator now. Translation. Hmm. But anyway, you can do it yourself. We just gave you the verse. So the Quran confirmed what is with us, what we possessed. The Abdul didn't agree. Why? Because it hurt. It hurt their lies. It hurt their deception. It hurt 
the, the existence of Islam. It's a, it's a fraud. So in order to deny Christianity, uh, so we can build Islam, we fabricate lies. Your prophet, not only he confirmed in the Quran tons of times, that he confirmed the Bible with us. And I know why he was doing that. Because he's a fraud. He was trying to be a hypocrite to the Christians. He don't argue. He don't argue with the Jews. But when he give up, and the Jews and the Christians don't want to believe in his garbage. Suddenly Muhammad is all over them. Look like you can choose translation here, but I don't see. I mean, uh, it doesn't show all translations. <clears throat> Let us see here. Uh, I know this website is really weird. I'm trying to find where to f change the translation. Here you can change. Okay. Dr. Mustafa Khattab. Uh, it will sound like a Pakistani. Right? Yeah. Let's find a different website we can figure out easy easier. Okay, let's see this website. I want to say, by the way, thank you, Muslims, for having those host websites. Otherwise, how we can love? I mean, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Hmm. Let us try this website. I will put it in the screen just to be sure first we can use it. Oh, this one is even more stupid. You cannot find even Arabic words in it. What kind of a Quran search? You cannot use Arabic to search. What a dummy Quran page. Let us go to the different Quran page. You know what? Let us see. There's, there's a, a site I used to use a long time ago. It's to search truth. That should work. All right. Okay, here we go. What's wrong with this website? All of them, nothing is working. Like what? Let's try again. Uh, finally, which translation you like me to show you, Abdul? Look how many, look how many, all of them getting Islam busted. All of them. This is why Muslims, they try to run away from their translation. But if you run from translation, we speak Arabic better than your God. And when there comes to them a book from Allah confirming what is with them. So how every single Abdul in YouTube keeps saying the Bible is corrupted, the Bible is corrupted, the Bible is corrupted, 600 years after Jesus, how they say that the one who corrupted the Bible is Paul, is Paul, brother. Paul is the one. Well, Paul was long before Muhammad, 600 years before Muhammad. And then 600 years after Paul, the silly Muhammad, he come and he say, confirming what is with them, brother. We confirm it. We confirm it, okay? Abdul in YouTube says, no, brother, the one who did the corrupt the Bible is Paul, brother, Paul. What the heck? And then not only that, we show them 
that even the name of Paul is mentioned in their books as a prophet of God sent by Jesus. Uh, uh, Islam nation saying, <clears throat> Islam nation, sorry, I'm going to give you a harsh answer. All right. Get ready, Islam nation. Look what the Islam nation he said. If Muhammad B B U H, this is kind of urine, still alive today, I guarantee that you will give your wife for Muhammad P P urine to achieve blessing from Muhammad. This is how they, you see they worship him. But my friend, Islam Nation, you speak like this because you are a whore, not a man. There's no man will give his wife to somebody else unless he is a whore, a son of a whore. And that is you. You are obsessed, satanic person. Ask yourself first, why in the world anyone want to give a prophet of God his wife? Oh, because we have a perverted prophet. Because our prophet is a perverted man. He, he cared less for you and dignity and ethic. He cared only for his penis. This is what you do. A man with honor he would die before such a thing happened. But obviously, you don't have an honor. You are just following the faith of Muhammad. And this is why in the Quran you will see, Muhammad, he go to the house of his own son. And he flirt with the wife. He flirt what? He flirt with the wife, literally. And he told her, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. And then the son, because he is a coward, son of Muta, he said, okay, prophet, uh, you know, this woman, she hurt me, okay, I will divorce her, so you can have her. And then the Muslim, in their explanation, they say, the prophet, he have 16 or 18 privilege. One of them, if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can have her. That is a serpent. That is a serpent. And because you might say it's not true, let us show you the reference. Because remember, Muslims, they say, this is not true. This guy is lying. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. Volume 14, page number 212. You might say this is a Shia library. My friend, this is a library. The Qurtubi is a Sunni. So don't say this is a Shia. I can't find you the same book in the Islamic government, official Islamic government of Saudi Arabia. We are just searching. And here we go. They are all over. Hmm? All of this. So if we translate the page, the search page, translate to English. Read and see why we say with the proofs that Muhammad is satanic. Interpretation of Al-Qurtubi, part 14, volume 14, page number 2122. Uh, if his eyes or his sight falls on a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can have her. That is you, my friend. That is a behavior of a man who is no better than a whore. Actually, a whore, she have more dignity than him. Do you see how the sex involved in the privilege of the prophet? All cult leaders, they share two things. They want your wife and they want your money. And Muhammad, he wanted both. Do we have any Muslim have any objection? Anything you want to say? Any Abdul?
the earth is flat in the Quran Sayyid Baqir is saying no well you know who care what's who is who is this guy by the way there's a there's a one of you he brought me a shake to debate me and we are waiting for him to decide you know I told him I told the person uh, tell him what which date is good for him what time because we do not give him excuse to go away are you mean so uh, I, we told him uh, give us time and he like any time he like even if it's middle of the night of my in my time and what day and we will have him and I will speak to him nicely suppose he's a big shake he's a big 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 shake supposedly so we will see if this will happen just sharp your teeth now when somebody says that the Quran uh, doesn't say that the earth is a flat if the earth is a flat so how you pray to the direction of Kaaba if Islam does not teach the earth is a flat so how you pray in the direction of the Kaaba you see I can accept the direction of Kaaba is you know to be like maybe 10 miles away from the Kaaba 20 mile away 50 mile away but to be in Australia and pray to the direction of Kaaba that is funny however if you go and search the Quran right now do you remember the Zakir Naik he have a, a video saying brother sir brother sister the Quran says the earth is the shape of an egg the Quran says the, the the earth in the shape of an egg this fool he saw a video made by a teenage person he is 21 years old to refute me saying that the word the haha mean egg the stupid Zakir Naik copy it and he, he, he speak of it in the stage this is how donkey he is the haha is making it flat is the opposite the ha you know you know that your your mother she use uh, 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 I mean this is this website is really stupid you know that the piece of wood your mother she used to make a pizza or to make a, a dough flat this is what the ha mean. let me see if the other website fixed because this website is screwed let us hope here we go it's working now perfect so look at this this is the word the haha and this is a translation which translation is saying he made the earth like an egg so all those Muslims they never noticed that this is an egg well, there is no egg here he's stupid as I can egg. the haha mean he made it flat and you can go and open the interpretation Ibn Kathir or anyone Ibn Kathir, by the way, who came long after Islam, you know, like 800 years, he tried to fix it because Ibn Kathir at his time, he was like a YouTuber trying to refute the Christians who they are making fun of Islam. So Ibn Kathir, he tried to fix. But how much you can fix? This is a chapter 79, verse number 30. And this is the tafsir. Tafsir mean interpretation. This is not Christian prince saying that. This is not the Jews. This is not the Hindus. Those are the Muslim scholars. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And after that, he spread out the earth and he made it flat. I mean, how clear we can make it more than this. But as usual, anything is an embarrassment. Is an embarrassment so we have to deny it otherwise we have to accept the embarrassment right I'm going to open my Skype even though I'm not planning really to stay for long but already we stayed for long but I will give maybe a call or two for Mohammedans if they like to call me let us open Skype <clears throat>
And for sure, this guy who called himself Khalid, he is too, too small to call. He was not there. Okay, we are loading Skype. It's taking time. So if you are a Mohammedan and you like to join us, please. You know, there's this guy, he called me last time. But isn't this the same guy who, you know, called and he's, he said he is from the Mujahideen in Syria and he is, and then he decided to leave Islam and now he is calling me as a, what, what's wrong with this guy? Let me block him. What a troll. Please text me again. <clears throat> I am a Muslim from Germany. I would like to come and you want to expose me. Uh, this, this Muslim from Germany, you want to expose me. <laughs> Maybe he's from Nigeria. Hello? Hi, what's up? You said you want to come to my show and expose me. We're live on air. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Yeah, you're the famous CP, right? Yeah. Are you famous too? Uh, I'm not famous, but I know something and I just came to verify it because mm. I think if I verify this information, your career will be over. Oof, 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 oof. What is that? I know who your teacher is. You know who's my teacher? Yeah. That's good. And? Your teacher is Imamura, the time traveler. Okay, let's talk about this. Are you brave yeah. enough or you will hang up? No, no, no. I, I just want you to be truthful. Is Imam Mura your teacher or not? I don't, I don't came to chit chat. I don't have time for chit chatting, you know, uh -huh. because that it seems that that's what you like to do. Hmm. So, so let us talk about the question Ima. is very simple. You, you, you can just one, say you, yes or no. You is are the Imam one, Mura you are, you are, the time you, traveler? You, you is he one, your teacher? You are, yes or Abdul, no? Abdul, Abdul, first of all, look. You make I, fun my, of my name books. is Abdul. Your name is Abdul. You like it or not? No, because my name is German. When I read, Can't listen, read? listen. When us, oh, hold on. I, I call read, the name of Imam Murrah from your books, correct or not? Wait, just tell me. I didn't ask for that. I, I just caught, asked. Is I caught Imam Murrah the, name, the on, time traveler? So look, look how is is that you are. He your I'm teacher. Asking you, I'm asking you. Is Imam Murrah is written his name in your book? Yes or no? I don't care about that. Is no, he your teacher or not? I was quoting. I was quoting your book. So if your book, you are saying it is wrong. That's mean you are a stupid following a stupid book. Is he your teacher or not? Can no, you please answer not. the he question? He's your teacher because he's in your book. So you. But well, he's not my teacher. You stupid. You are the one making fun of well, your I, books I read... because I was reading your book. So you know, are you bro, making why, fun? Why are you getting mad, bro? Fun? Why, why are you getting are you all emotional? Are you making I don't want to. I don't want to argue Abdul, with you on an emotional basis. I want, I we're like to two grown-up persons. You, we can you. have a civilized you conversation. Said, you said you you're just going. Me. You're just going mad and you're getting emotional. Take a chill pill, bro. Abdul, listen. Was I reading your book or my not? My name is Abdul. So was, why are you doing your, this? Did I read your book? Why or would not? you? Did you know, I read your book or not? Is that how Christians treat why their you visitors? Don't answer? Why you are being coward? Did I read your book or not? I I didn't came to talk about this type of things. I you just came to ask you. It. Now you don't want to talk about I it. Want you to be... Did I read the name of Murrah from your book or not? I don't care about that. Is you Imam Mura you your teacher or not? This Abdul, is just what I want to know. Abdul, you and if you care. say no, no he is then not I think my you're teacher. lying. He is your teacher because but, he is in your book. I'm reading but your books. That would be a lie. How how Imam Mura says that you're his a student and he has so much proof about that. So I don't think you can deny that. So you are now saying that the one who is teaching Muslims is teaching me. I don't say anything. I just said Imam Mura you, is your teacher. You, you just said that. Everybody is. Uh, no, no, no. You're making the conclusions. You, I'm, it, you're it jumping is, to conclusions Abdul, and no, cousins. Abdul, no, it is you who just said My, my name is not Abdul. Everybody, Can you please uh, call uh, me by my name, please? Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you saying that he is my teacher, but he is a Muslim scholar, right? 
I don't know. I don't know any Muslim scholar called Imam Murrah the time travel. And Ibn Abbas and Murrah and Ibn well, Mas'ud in front of you. Well, I don't. I don't shut care. Up, shut I don't up, care about you. Shut up. Why, why, you, why, you, getting, why you get emotional, the bro? You, so why, why you get triggered? Asking me, why you Take asking a chill me, why pill, I, man. Why you we are, we are just hanging out. We are live. People are watching. Why are you getting hyped up, man? Everybody is laughing at you. Mr. Time Traveler. Mr. Time Traveler. Mr. Time Traveler. Your prophet is the one who went to the seven galaxies, traveling time in six hours. Oh, it is I'm not prophet. talking about any prophet. So why shut are you, up now. Why are you making, me. I'm you're making you a red herring fallacy? I'm showing, I, I, I'm you're making the, a red Abdul, herring fallacy Abdul, here, man. Abdul. Do you know what the red herring is? Everybody. Yeah, the red herring is Muhammad, the one who go after children. This well, is I'm not you. talking about this Muhammad. Why are you getting triggered? See, see, like, if it's so easy to get you triggered and get you, like, all crazy and swear. And... Everybody laughing at you. al bidaya and an nihaya Chapter, num volume number one. Page okay, number okay, can I ask you one, one serious so question, please? Is, one serious is, question. Is, is Mura, is Mura, can, one of Can I ask you a question? Mura, I'm not going to ask the first question. Can, can, I, or not? can yes, I ask, question, can I ask, ask you. you another question, am, please? No, hold on. Is Mura, don't change the topic. You are a coward. Is Mura, you're a No, no, I'm not a coward because Mura, I'm seriously, then, I'm concerned so you about your mental about health now. Because you're getting triggered and I didn't come on to get you triggered here. Potato. Why you are? What my name is not Abdul. Me. My name is not Potato. Why you are you swearing? Why are you getting mad? Because topic now. You are the one who opened. You said you want to expose me. Here we go. We no, have no, the reference. I just wanted a yes or no question. I you said no, you, I but I think you, that you're I lying. You, I, I think that Murra is your teacher. Abdul, you should. Abdul, you shouldn't lie Abdul, to people. You should say yes. Uh, so Imam if Murra, I, the time uh, traveler, okay, okay, hold is on, my teacher. Hold on, hold on. You are a coward. Why you? I answer you. Why you don't answer me? I, I don't came to answer questions. I came to uh, ask them. But no, I answer. You know, I got you busted. Uh, and, and Abni Abbas and Murra and Ibn Mas'ud. I Masoud. didn't make a claim in front so of that you. you could get I me busted. Claim, I prove it. I made a claim. It's in front of you. What was my claim? My only claim that I made is that he's your teacher. <laughs> and you are, if you say no, you are, then... You are a stupid son of Muda. So we have the reference in the front of our eyes. So when I quote your imam and his name is Murrah, you shut up and you put your shoes in your mouth. And this is why you say, I'm not here to talk about it. Is your teacher Imam Murrah? I read all your stupid Islamic scholars and I show the reference in the front of your eyes. So if a stupid guy says to you, there's no guy, his name is Murrah. We laugh. I know he's your teacher. His name is Murrah. Time traveler. Was Murrah in the time of Ibn Abbas? Ibn Abbas was in the time of Muhammad. Ibn Mas'ud was in the time of Muhammad. And Murrah is between them. And here he says, وَعَنْ مُرَّةً Murrah. Not Murrah, Murrah. عَنْ Ibn Abbas. So the stupid fool who made that to you, he is a fool like you. So you coward, you call me, I answer you, I show you the reference, and then you say to me, well, you know, this is your teacher, I'm not here to talk about it, I'm going to tell them who is your teacher. Is Ibn Abbas my teacher? <laughs> is Ibn Mas'ud is my teacher? Ibn Abbas is the one who says the earth is swimming in the top of a whale? Is held by a bowl? Is he my teacher? So this is how silly, trashy, stupid you are. I know who's your teacher. And Murra, I know. Murra, time traveler. Let us talk about time traveling. We don't want to talk about it now because it's embarrassment. Muhammad, he said, that it take the angels 1,000 years to go up to heaven or to go down, which means one way is 1,000 year. Time traveler. Let's read. <clears throat> Chapter 
If you are brave to talk about the topic you open, then call. You are a coward son of Muta. Chapter 32, verse number 5. He arranged, this is your translation, the affairs of the heaven and the earth, then it's a fear, which means the angels, will go up to him in a day, in the space whereof a thousand years of your rocking. Time traveler. So how it take a thousand years for the angels to go up, another thousand years to come down, and then we find that the stupid Muhammad, he went up with an angel, which means he can't exceed his speed. Because the speed of the angel, the Muslims, they say the angel is made of light. So the stupid Muhammad, he claimed that he went up to heaven and he came down to earth in a few hours. Time traveler. Do you want to talk about it? Or you are a coward? When we say something, we show the reference. You Muslim, you try to make mockery, I will whip the floor with those who make mockery. When I say something, I have reference for it. When you say to me, Murrah, and you say time traveler, that's because you are a stupid listening to a fool. If Murrah was not exist in the time of Ibn Abbas, then how you say from Ibn Abbas, one Murrah, one Ibn Mas'ud, so why he is between them if he is coming centuries after them? That's because you are stupid. And if I quote what your messengers or your scholars they say, you don't, you want to go after me or after what they said? Did you say, you know, you know who's your teacher? Here we go. Al-Bidaya wa Nihaya, value number one, page 128. Who can beat that? In a speed of light, I get you busted. And you want to talk about time traveling? Here we go. Your stupid prophet obviously is a liar. Because if the angels, they need 1,000 years to go, and 1,000 years to come back, that means they need 2,000 years to be back. So how Muhammad, he went up to heaven, and he was in a company of an angel. Which means he have the speed of an angel. And here we go, the Quran, he told us that the angels take them 1,000 years to go. I know who is your teacher. Okay, I'm going to expose you. I'm, I'm a murra, a traveler. <laughs> A German boy, if you would like to call me, call me so we can have fun. All right, another Muslim is saying, Pick up fraud star. Let's see the fraud star. <laughs> traveler the time traveler prophet I don't care I'm not here to call you to talk about it you, you why not you call me to talk about it now you don't want to talk about it I know who's your teacher Imam Murrah what you know are you are you a man or you are a little little, little whore so we show him the reference I am not here to talk about it so why you go talk about it then <laughs> <laughs> and those are your teachers, potato. They are written in your books with their names. When I show you your book, I say, Did, is it in your book? He says, so I, this is not, I don't care. This is not my teacher, it's your teacher. You are the Muslim, not me. How he can be my teacher? <laughs> Time traveler. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> ah, potato. <laughs> it's 
So are you going to answer or you are going to cry again? Hello? Hello, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, are you going to answer or you will cry again like a baby? I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer. But first, yeah. I'm, I want you to be truthful. I'm going to ask you if Imamura is your teacher. And if you say yes, I'm going to answer. Okay? Mm. So is, is Imamura the time traveler your teacher? So you will not answer unless I lie. No, no, because you're lying if you're saying no. Just say okay, yes. Okay, if you, okay, if you, if you okay. really want to so, have the discussion, so, so look what, if look what happened. Now. Listen, look listen. What happened if you really want traveler, to have the discussion, time, time, time just say yes. Time and traveler. Then we can... Time traveler. Let me ask you. When a I'm Muslim, not time traveler. When a Muslim, when a Muslim, he write a book. Is he teaching the Muslim or teaching the Christians? But who's talking about Muslims? I'm just talking about Imam Murad, the time Shut traveler. Shut up, son of Muta. I'll just get lost. Ooh. I'm not talking about Muslims. I'm talking about Imam Murad. But Imam Murad is a Muslim. You potato son of Muta. I'm not talking about Muslims. So why his name in your book? And why you are quoting what he is saying? If he is, then look, I'm not talking about Muslims. <laughs> if you say he is your teacher, I will answer. Look at this, man. That's deep. That's so deep. That's so good, too. Let us see. Do we have any other Abdul? If you say he's your teacher, he's not my teacher, so you want to lie so I can get an answer from your bum? You remind me of the hadith where Muhammad, he says, when a Muslim, he prays shaitan, he came from his back and he, he keep taking hair from his anus and he will not stop until he fart. It sounds like you want me to take the answer from your anus. Who cares if you answer me or not? Here we go. Get lost. Coward son of Muta. He's thinking about Muslims. He's a Muslim and he is in your book. And as, uh, the book of Al Bidayah and Al Nihaya. Is, is that a Christian book? Is it? Who am talking about Muslims? I'm not talking about Muslims. <laughs> anyway, and look how excited he is. I'm going to end your career. Time traveler. Did Muhammad travel time? Let us go to Muhammad who traveled time. Actually, I want people who download this video to cut this part where he called me speak about time travel and post it again alone. Let us talk about time traveling. Maybe I should make a video by, by itself. How in the world time traveler people, how Muhammad, he speak that he saw Adam and Isa and Moses in heaven when they are dead, they are not resurrected yet. Time traveler? Is that your stupid prophet claiming that he met with Adam, Abraham, and Isa, and Moses in the heaven of his God? Let us show the reference. Time traveler. How Muhammad he met with Abraham? He Was he God? So Jibreel asked uh, the gate to be open and then, you know, because, you know, the, the angels do not know who is behind the gate. They are stupid like Muhammad. Look how serious the story is. You are asking the angels to open the door and then the angels, they say to you, who is behind the Who is there? He says, I'm Jibreel. <laughs> the angels do not know who is behind the door. <laughs> and this is their boss. Jibreel is their boss. They don't know Jibreel from his voice. Who is there? Uh, he said, open the gate. But let's talk, talk about, about traveling. Then when he arrived in the sky, the second sky, he found the Isa. He found Adam. Look, look here, look. Brother. He found who? Let us go back a little bit here. After they installed dish of wisdom and faith in his chest, we reached the lowest heaven Zabriel asked the gate to be open, etc. And then they opened the gate. And then he said he was sent, etc. And then he said, okay. And then their wind, wind came to Adam, time traveler. 
Is it Muhammad is the same person who said that the first one Allah will resurrect is going to be me? How he met Adam and Abraham is that time traveling? Let us show you another one. According to the stupid Muhammad, Adam and Moses, they have a debate. Time traveler, how Adam and Moses they met where? Any time traveler can tell us? Any Abdul? Hmm? Who is the time traveler? I'm going to expose you. I'm going to end your career. I mean, that's that's good. And you know the the good thing about Muhammad, he is the same as a chicken who never stopped talking. And the more he talked, the more he make poopoo. -poo. Literally, the more he talk, the more he make poopoo. -poo. So if we go to the hadith, we will find the following. Read and laugh. Do you see it? I shall be the enemyment of among the descendant of Adam on the day of resurrection, and I will be the first to intercessor and the first one who will come from the grave. The first one who the grave will open to come from it, it's going to be Muhammad. So how in the world Muhammad, he saw Adam, he saw Isa, he saw Abraham in heaven, they are not there. Time traveler. This is stupid man, he cannot maintain his sentence. I'm going to end your career. We are ending the career of your prophet every day and you can do nothing about it. Do we have any Abdul? Maybe. <clears throat> Guys, is it clear that Muhammad is the first one who will come from the grave? Does it say that in front of you? I will be the first one whom the earth will split open in the day of resurrection. Do you see it? So who is the first one who will come from the grave? Muhammad. So how in the world he met Adam and Abraham? You see, I can let the, the, the statement about Isa because the Muslim believe that Allah, he took Isa up. So I can let that go. But how in the world he met Adam there and he met uh, 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 Abraham and he met Moses? Uh, never, don't repeat the same question, my friend. We have a topic. That's it, you are stuck with that question? Time traveler? Who is the time traveler? You just ended the career of your prophet. Do we have any Muslim he wanna expose me? This is exactly hashish, you are right. This is hashish. In one hand you say you are the first one who will be resurrected, in the other hand you say I met Abraham. Okay, Abraham is dead. Do you Muslim believe in your religion that Abraham is dead or he's alive in the sky now? Time traveler. And the funny, the Muslims, they have articles about the speed of, of, of light and the angels. Hold on.
just to show you how mad this religion is mental let me find the article Brother, I'm going to show you a scientific, scientific miracle in the Quran. Oh, brother, are you ready, brother? I will show you a scientific miracle on the Quran. Okay, hold on. Brother, the speed of light. This is a Muslim website. They have a long article about it. Okay, what is this? What is this article saying? brother the light travel in the speed of etc 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 and then they say to you and the angels are made of light and then how could an illiterate man who lived 1400 years ago go ago have known the speed of light brother do you see how muhammad he knew the speed of light <laughs> we have abdul trying to call it a sea <coughs> Sir, obviously you are trying to waste my time. I will block you. So I'm, I'm just letting you know. If you don't answer, I will block you. like no Muslim want to end my career who is a Muslim would like to end my career I'm here to challenge you I will end your career okay I will answer you only if you accept that Imam Murrah is your teacher Imam Murrah this is in your book this is your scholar I would have to, what he have to do with me my teacher <laughs> I don't learn from Abdul I teach Abdul <laughs> What a bunch of Abduls. Bankruptcy. Literally, bankruptcy. Let us take a break. Commercial. If you would like the support of Christian Prince, please go to Patreon and show your support. www. If you like to support. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> he's, he's really fun. Commercial break. Hello, babies. If you would like to support Christian Prince, please go to Patreon and show your support. www.patreon.com slash Christian Prince. We thank you all for your kindly support and enjoy the video. The end of the commercial break. Commercial. <laughs> All right. Uh, let us see this guy here. If you don't answer this time, I will block you. Hello? Hello, yes. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. So you are a Muslim, right? Yeah, I'm Muslim, yeah. Can you say the Shahada? Just to be sure, you are not just you know some people playing games. I know La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. All right. So why you are calling us, my friend? Go ahead. Yeah, I've been listening to you lately. All right. So I've had like a lot of doubts. I was shocked. Like I've never known all this kind of stuff uh, that you said about like Zaid being, yeah, Zaid's wife, Prophet married to. All right. So. Uh... So what so, do you think about this story? 
no i mean when i looked up in the website and all i i couldn't find anything it only coming in like arabic well because your islamic origin is in arabic but you know but you can i mean obviously the muslims are avoiding translating those things but you can do you can copy the arabic text put it in google translation right yeah yeah it's uh, coming like part by part but uh, especially that part like uh, when he flirts with the uh, zainab and all that's kind of missing there hmm so uh, oh, did you did you call a sheikh to uh, to explain to you why this is happening how did such a thing happen yeah i checked with someone else they are saying that no this is not the authentic uh there is some uh, another authentic hadith that like uh, he hmm. saw a dream he saw a dream that uh, he's going to get married with uh, zainab lately so but that's how it, but, that's but, the... is, but but isn't it this is more ugly that a woman she is married to his son and now he has seen a dream about her being his wife yeah isn't that's not like ugly? i couldn't yeah i couldn't digest this thing but i don't know like they say that it's some allah so imagine decree. imagine there's a guy he is he, you know he is dreaming about the wife of his son in the time when she is a wife still right yeah so the sheikh who is trying to fix it he made it more ugly why in the world anyone like imagine dreaming about your daughter yeah these things i just couldn't they just like yeah but but uh, and when they say this is a dream but the quran mm -hmm. says that allah told him So this is from Allah, yeah, Allah, right? Yeah, yeah. They say like Allah, yeah, Allah has decreed. And then they say that like even when uh, Zaid he will come to Prophet Muhammad and he would say that like he he wanna divorce her, then he would force Zaid to no, no, you should be with her, like you should stay with her. They say well, like isn't, you know, it, isn't it hypocrisy to say to a man stay with your wife when you know that you are supposedly you will take her? Why he is lying then? Why he is saying to him stay with her? When Allah He told him that she would be yours, why Muhammad? Even the verse in the Quran saying Allah says, "Why you are saying that to the man? Why are you afraid to tell people what is in your heart? What Allah manifest for you? Do you fear people?" Yeah, that's what something like very bizarre to me is that okay, let's say Muhammad has this dream, whatever, but how could Allah has revealed a verse and is this? There are a lot of bad things happening in the world, but He didn't care to. may send any words but for no but like, you see here you are right i mean muhammad he have tons of wives already what this what about this one why this god is busy with silly stuff as you said there's people dying yes. their children are hungry they are you know there's diseases there's illness and then muhammad and his god both are working in one project he want a new women in the bed yeah and he will uh, yeah these things are like i'm I'm totally confused about this stuff. Like, why would he reveal a word sound like you know defending him? Okay, so this There's one a is a is a negative thing about Muhammad. If there is something else still making you, because you just say the Shahada, so you are still a Muslim. So what is keeping you yeah. as a Muslim then? No, I mean I am. I don't know. Like, what if I? I would imagine that like all these hadiths are maybe. I would not believe in hadiths. I, I don't know. Like, I still have to research. My friend, forget about the hadith. No problem. What about the Quran? Is the Quran a book from God? Uh, yeah, I mean, especially these kind of uh, words, like as you said about this Zaid one, and the other thing is that like Prophet has a privilege that like he can have uh, any believer woman. This stuff like it's haunting me. Like, how could he have such a privilege? Like. Still, I'm asking you now, what is holding you to stay as a Muslim? No, I mean I just need a time. Like I'm going through this. Like, have to figure there's, this there's thing out. There's anything Islam? As there's anything Islam is good for you? No, maybe these things like the way I interpreted, or like maybe this tafsir and all, maybe they could be wrong. I like my friend forget about this verse forget about the seer now forget about them all of them if there is anything good in islam 
yeah like uh, you know like you should be giving the zakat and helping out people okay how 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 muslims they give the zakat yeah it's like we give uh, 2.5% like every year you give what we will give like whatever our uh, savings are there like we will give 2.5% of that our mm. savings to the poor people okay but in the time of muhammad is that how they gave the money to the poor or they attack the christians they kill them and then they spread the shares even they give them women and children as a slaves yeah this thing some like yeah when i check with the sheikh they said like it's only to that period of time like it's not applicable now like any kind of war so and isn't it isn't it the isn't it the, like, the isn't it the quran is for every time so the quran was only for a certain time yeah it's like for the until the end of the judgment day like quran is until the okay end of the so, judgment so why he is saying this is for only certain time if there's any verse in the quran saying that no but they say like uh, first the christians and jews they will attack then only prophet has always attacked like uh, he has never started any war like uh, really so uh, isn't it chapter 9 verse 29 says kill those who don't believe in allah he doesn't say kill those who they are they are you it says kill those who don't believe in allah so what is the problem they don't believe in allah because they don't believe in allah kill them Hey, uh, in this thing, like uh, you know, Zaki, you know like, how to you know how to read, right? Yeah, yeah. Like okay. uh, I mean, like so. If yeah. we go on now, if we go and read the Quran, and you said you are the one who said to me, I don't want to believe in the Hadith, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So this is the Quran in front of us. It says, "Fight those who don't believe in Allah, nor they believe in the last day." Well, nowhere here it says, "Fight those who they are fighting you." They are not fighting from the Christian and the Jews specifically. Why? Because they don't believe in Allah. Because they don't believe in the day of Muhammad. They don't believe in what is forbidden by Islam. And they don't believe in the messenger. This is the reason to fight them. Actually, the verse before it says, you are the one who said to me, Islam teach me to give zakat. Let us see how the Muslims, they got the zakat. The Muslims, they got the zakat by killing the Christians. Yeah. Read with me carefully. Muhammad, yeah. he said, forbid the mushrikeen. Supposedly they are uh, uh, filthy, najis. Najis is a filthy in the way you cannot even wash them. Not to get close to the uh, Mecca and Medina. And then, if you fear poverty, soon Allah will reach you. Okay, how Allah, he solved the problem. Muhammad, he says, attack the Christian, attack the Jews to take the money. Read it. The verse is coming just right after it. If you fear poverty, because yeah. now most people, they cannot do business in Mecca and Medina, and that's how you make money from them. Well, no problem. Go and attack the Jews and the Christians. So the purpose of attacking the Jews and the Christians is just because the Muslims, they were going into poverty and Muhammad is trying to find a solution. They don't do work. They don't do farming. Who feed the Muslims? Can you tell me who is the one who feed the Muslims? Yeah, it's uh, like, they did something like they will go on war and when they will uh, win over the war and they will get money like Malik and Imad. Okay, but who is the one who feed them? Who is, you know, like, you know, uh, uh, for, for, like I live in America, so we have American farmers, you know, like we buy almost like everything from China except food. It's all oh, the food is made in USA. So, yeah. uh, uh, so who is going to feed us if none, none nobody in my country make food or do farming nobody like yes like they have to have some source yes okay and where yeah. is the source i have no idea like i didn't i never thought about this thing like is it true that the prophet of allah he cursed those who do farming no i don't think so what if this is true? So Allah will curse like who will do the farming? Yeah. Huh? I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> Let me find the hadith. Uh, 
and you will see by yourself. And the reason for Muhammad, he made those this stories. Uh, because he want people to be criminals. He don't want people to work. He don't want farmers. He don't want peaceful people to live in peace and do farming like everybody. He want a bunch of criminals. We go to the Hadith and we will find, I'm trying just to find the Hadith in English. Do you, yeah, see, my, do you the... see my do you see my screen? Actually, I'm calling you from the. I can't see the screen. I'm calling you from the. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. Okay. It says Abu Umama on scene, blah blah blah, like a tools of agriculture, like you know the one you dig the ground with it. Uh, he said that the prophet said that. This is will not enter any people's house without God cursing them for entering it. Just because having the tools for farming. And this is Al Bukhari, Muslims cannot say this is weak. I saw some agriculture's equipment and said, I heard the Prophet of Allah saying, there is no house in which this equipment enters except that Allah will cause humiliation to enter it. Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 2321. Reference is Imam Umurra. <laughs> 3321, okay. Yeah. So what do you think about such a garbage religion? So according to Islam, the one who is a farmer, Allah will curse him. Allah will humiliate him. So who's going to feed the world? How we eat? We eat, we eat? we eat each other? How the Muslims, they make living? Who's going to feed the Muslims? Muhammad, he wanted them to be staying as gangs, criminals, attack their neighbors, take their money, and they work for you. Hi. I don't know. I'm like I'm still like uh, searching a lot of things, and I have to. And My also, friend, I heard isn't it, isn't it this I is enough for you? Point. Isn't it this is enough for you to know that first that Muhammad is not from God, because isn't it God? He want us to uh, do God send food to us, or we have to eat. We have to eat, right? God, He created this okay. earth, and He said, "Go live there." So, if nobody, if all of us we follow the advice of Muhammad. What is the result of this? What we will be eating? We will be eating each other. Isn't this alone proof that Muhammad is an evil man? Yeah, and also like uh, I've also listened to your uh, yeah, I watched your video and like he forgot the, some verses like if you could forget the verses then Quran also it cannot be like uh, preserved. As they say, like Lohe Mahfuz, Quran has been preserved in the Lohe Mahfuz, nothing could be changed. I don't like these things. Like, if. Uh... Secondly, why God want to write in a tablet if he is God and nobody can see that tablet except him? I mean, isn't this a stupid alone? Because you see, God, he wrote tablet for Moses because he gave it to Moses, but Moses is a human. But God, he will write a tablet for him. Why? He have a short memory? Yeah, that's right. Why he need to have a, you know, if I have a good memory now, if you give me your phone number, I do not need to write it down. Correct? We write down things for two reasons, either to transform the information to generation after us, and the other reason, we have a short memory. Doesn't matter how good your memory is, you will forget. So, what kind of God he write his own book to himself? <clears throat> yeah, and also regarding the prayers, like I watched you, you saying that like uh, Quran only mentions to pray three times, but like we've all been told that like we have to pray five times a day. My friend, this, same, uh, same time. What What is the point of a praying three times? If you are praying to someone you don't know, if I ask you who is Allah, do you have an answer? 
you don't know who is allah yeah you it's even... there right from no from right. surah ikhlas it's there right like allah is the one and then uh, he begets not, uh, not not his okay, begotten okay hold on but this is not a, who is allah i'm asking you who is allah don't tell me what he do what he don't this is not the question so if i ask you who is donald trump you tell me who is donald trump is a person we knew who is allah so you tell me allah don't eat who care Allah don't drink, who care? I'm not asking you what he drink, what he eat. I'm asking you who is Allah. So obviously Muslims, they have no idea who is their God. Or what they knew, that Allah don't have kids. But this is even the one, this, this one is a lie. Because the Arab before Islam, always they have children for Allah. Did the Muslim ask themselves, why the Arab, they believe that Allah have daughters? Obviously, there's something behind the story. How Allah have three daughters? From where those? And not only that, Muhammad, he have expedition. He sent a guy, his name is Khalid ibn al-Walid, to kill the daughter of Allah. And this is written in their books. I've, I've never heard about this. Allah has, no, Allah has never had like daughters or something. What do you mean he never have daughters? Allah to al-Uzza and even Muhammad, he bought down for them. No, but in uh, Surah Ikhlas, it says that Allah is the only one he begets not no now he's been begotten. First of, first of all, when you say Allah is, uh, uh, doesn't say Allah is only one, it says, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Ahad is a word mean one of, not one. Ahad is one of, not one of, one, what, not one. We have a day, it's called Ahad actually. Ahad. It's, I mean, it's Sunday. If, if I read if I read English translation, it's only says that Allah is the only one. Yeah, this is the translation. Okay. So, and same time, if Allah is one or two, who care? Okay. So, I mean, he should be one. He should not be two. That's why you call him Allah. You don't call him Allah's. But who care about this now? He is one. He is two. He is five. Still, he doesn't know who is this God. He's one. So what? I'm glad he is not zero. I mean, even the argument is silly. Shaitan is a one. Iblis is one, Jibreel is one, and there's many Jibreel know. So does that mean he's God? So this Muhammadan religion is very silly. They have no idea what they are talking about. So here we go. I'm in front of you. I'm asking any Muslim to tell us who is Allah. They have no idea. Including you, and you are a Muslim. Who is Allah? Or what you tell me, Allah is one. Who cares if he's one or her four? That's not the question. Allah is one, Allah is five, Allah is ten. I don't care. I'm asking you, who's Allah? They don't know. No, I mean, it's not that like he's only one. He's the creator. Like he's No, the... he's not the creator because the Quran confirmed that he is the best of the creators. So the Quran itself proved Islam to be false because if there's other creators, that means Allah is not really the God. There's many gods. And if Allah, he says he is the best of the creators, well, he is saying that about himself. You know, if I say I'm the best in the world, you will take my word for granted? No, because anyone will say that about himself. Right? If you ask Zakir Naik, mother, she will say, my, my son, he is, a, uh, he is the most handsome boy in the world, you know? But obviously he's not, right? But because she is his mother, she say what she say. If we go in the Quran, and the Muslim, they try to cover by translation, fabricating translation says, uh, uh, that Allah is the best of the creators. And this is a chapter 23, verse number 14. So if the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators, how the Muslim they say Allah is the only creator? No, I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of common sense, right? Like even if it's not, we have to know from someone else, but there might be some power, right? Like someone has created the entire world and it's been this running is not question, now. My friend, my friend, focus with me. I'm a Christian. I'm not a, I'm not an atheist. You're not talking to an atheist. I believe that God created everything. So this is not our topic now. We are talking about if Allah is the creator, yes. why he says he's the best of the creators? Is he really the best of the creators or is lying? Because if there's no other creators, that means he's a liar. If I am the only student in a classroom, and then I say I am the best student, 
That's when I'm lying. I'm deceiving people, make them believe there's other student with me in the classroom. And then I became the best because simply I'm the best. But if you are the only student in the classroom and you say you are the best student, you're lying. You are not the best. Right? The best, yeah. you will be the best if there's many. And you are the best comparing to them. So how Allah became the best of many when there is no many? I I have to look up into these things like I my friend what do you mean you need to look up it's in the front of you search your phone right now if you're gonna see the screen search chapter 23 verse number 14 it says Allah is the best of the creator secondly what kind of God he is the only God the Muslim they claim and then he claimed that the word the, the, the sperm not far became a dead blood who in the world want to believe in such a madness Sperm became the blood. Is that what doctors they say? Is that what scientists they say? Is that what this is according to who? So the one who claimed to be a creator, obviously he did not know anything about his creation, because no one in the world believed that the sperm became a dead blood. And by the way, the reference for this Quran is Imam Murrah. <laughs> I learned from Imam Murrah. What you can do about Muslims. The time traveler. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Yeah, time traveling. I obviously like I know about this time traveling thing. Hmm. No, yeah, focus it, with it me. This one. Like now. Focus with me in this one, yeah. my friend. Focus with me now. So, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, time traveling one. I totally. I think that like you know this mirage, this night. Uh, night journey i would think it as like uh, just a dream or something but i would friend, not dream or not focus something. with me here i mean what kind of god you do not know how the babies are created no it might be like just metamorphically he, he might be saying what that metaphorically like he says what metaphorically he says and we made the notfa into a dead blood thick dead blood this is not metaphorically he is talking about how he created you in stages This is not metaphorically. So if I'm trying to escape the embarrassment, I will say this metaphorically, but uh, everybody can see there's a blood, there's bones, there's a flesh. Uh, and this is the one who's talking is God is not somebody like me doing meditation. If I am the one saying that, oh God, you created me such a, this is my, let us say, I am doing, uh, you know, like thinking about how God created me. So I can be wrong about it. But still, I'm saying it to, uh, you know, to uh, like to appreciate God. But this is God himself is talking. This is not Muhammad even supposedly. So how God, he made such a stupid mistake. So this verse is full of mistakes. All of it is a mistake. Because the dead, the, 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 the nutfa, the, the semen, will not transform into dead blood. And dead blood is dead blood. And then he made the dead blood into a, a little lump. And then he made the little lump into a flesh. So we have a flesh before the bones and bones at the end. And then we close the bones with the flesh. Okay, hold on. You just said we made the lump into a flesh. Yeah. You know, this. what kind of translation this translation is? In Arabic it says, There's no flesh. This is a stupid translator trying to fix it. He says, we made the lump into bones. There's no flesh of bones into bones. So now when you are, let's say, in the third month or etc., you are just bones. And then after that, Allah, he closed you with the flesh. Mm. And then he claimed that he is the best of the creators. And you want to stay as a Muslim? Yeah, and then uh, I don't know. I'm too much confused about all this stuff. No. Okay, so you want to be a Muslim or what? What? What is your decision? What do you think? 
I mean, why you are confused is clear. What the word confused doesn't make sense. This is a stupid statement. Do you have a grandfather? No, I mean, he's, he's no more now. Oh, he's dead? Yeah, yeah. I will tell you a story dead. about my grandfather. I hope you will believe me. I should say that yeah. to you, between me and you, because this will end my career. I have a grandfather. He died. And okay. he was he died, he was standing, holding a stick. You know, he have a stick, he's an old man. And then after he died, he was dead like for a year. And then my grandmother, she entered his room, she talked to him, he don't answer. The maid, she entered the room, he don't answer. Uh, he have like people work for him, they come to his house, they talk to his room and room. He's, you see him standing, you know, he don't answer. For a year, brother, and nobody noticed, that he is dead. What do you think about such a story? Do you believe me? No, never. I would not believe that. That's Why not? It's impossible. a true story. I swear by Allah, it's a true story. No, how could she believe that? Like she, he's still like, uh, it's like one year. How could? How can we know? It's normal. It's normal. The guy is standing because he's standing. So my grandmother, she entered the bedroom. She found him standing. She talked to him, honey, do you want to eat? He don't answer. So it's okay. You don't want to eat. Okay, take care. You know, so she kept doing this every day for like 365 days. And this is normal in the Middle East, by the way. I mean, it happened all the time. So, but because he's holding a stick, nobody noticed. And then after like 365 days, uh, the termite, they ate a stick and he fell down. And then we noticed that he is dead. So you don't believe it? This is a story? I cannot. Like, uh, if he was dead already, he would decompose, right? Yeah, but uh, he's holding the stick. No, I mean still, like the body, it will decompose. Like when he's mm. dead already, like body will decompose eventually. So, are you saying that my story, does, you are hurting my feeling now. You are saying my story does not make sense and I'm lying. No, I mean, that's how the logic, like it's not, I, yeah, I mean, I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, well, I appreciate your honesty. Looked like my grandmother, she lied to me because I didn't, wasn't there, to be honest with you. But she told me that the neighbors came, that everybody came to talk to him. Uh, the guys who work for him, they came to pay him back the money. Uh, the one who borrowed money from him, he came back and, you know, he never answered. But nobody noticed because he, he was handsome, by the way. And he was standing tall. He's like 10 foot tall. Actually, they, they say he's taller. But uh, 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 he's holding the stick and his eyes is open and uh, looked like he was not decomposed for a year. So you don't believe this story? I cannot believe this. Okay, but this is in the Quran. Oh my God. Yeah, chapter 34, verse number 14. Can, I, learned, I, you, I, I learned this story from Imam Murrah. <laughs> can you tell me the uh, verse, like I will look, Quran, which, which chapter? Uh, which chapter? Chapter 34, verse number 14. 34, verse number 14. Yeah, so when we decided that death should come upon him, nothing gave them any indication of his death, hmm. except a creature of the earth that had eaten up his scepter. So when he fell down, the jinns came to know that if they had the knowledge of the unseen, they would not have stayed so long in the humiliating punishment. Hmm. What do you think? They would have noticed that he is dead. Even the genie did not notice. And if you read the story behind it, we will find that the guy is always dead for a year and nobody noticed, brother. Oh my God. Yeah, I can show you the whole story if you want. I mean, if you like to read, you know, we can go to Ibn Kathir, which Muslims, they keep asking me to read Ibn Kathir, chapter 34, verse number 14. Uh, not this one. This one is about Muta. Forget. Uh, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. Here we go. I have here. No, not this one. Hold on. All right. 
and we will see because now the Muslim they will say it's not for a year you know it was for 12 months you know that's what Muslim do you know when they refute me you know they say it wasn't for a year it was 12 months only and this is supposedly like how they prove me wrong you know because there's a huge difference between 12 months and one year yeah because Islamic year is 10 days at least you know so anyway here it says this is Ibn Kathir saying Allah told us how Sulaiman, peace be upon him, died, and how Allah concealed his death from the jinn who were subjugated to him to do hard labor. He remained leaning on his stick, same what happened to my grandfather exactly, which was his staff as Ibn Abbas, and this is the one Muhammad he hired to explain the Quran, so he cannot be wrong. May Allah pleased with him, Sayyid, and Mujahid, and Hassan, and by the way, I will add Murrah. Eh, Muslims, I add Murrah, what you can do about it? And Qutada and others, he stated like, for that, like this for a long time, nearly a year. Nearly a year, when the creature of the earth, which was a kind of worms, ate through the stick, became weak, and fell into the ground. And then it became apparent that he had died long time ago before. So what do you think now? Right. I just think it's a fairy tale. It's like some... It doesn't make any sense at all. So why you don't leave Islam then? Oh yeah. Well, this is the Quran. I just showed you the Quran. And now this is the explanation according to the scholars. The guy is dead for a year leaning on his stick and nobody noticed that he is dead until the termite they ate the stick and that's why if i die i'm going to go live by the way and nobody will notice i'm dead because i'm going to die holding a stick standing for a year i will have live podcast and not a single abdu will notice that the christian prince is not talking he's not a blinking he is not doing anything, and they will think I'm alive. I mean, how in the world does this story work? The guy is dead. You just said he would decompose. In, in two days, his belly will become like a pregnant woman. He will have a gas. He will start farting. He will collapse. What a stick. What a stick will do. I mean, how stupid, how mad Muhammad is. This is Quran. This is God is talking. And then the Muslim says, Search for a Christian prince exposed, brother. Search for a Christian prince. Who is exposed? Look at here. I'm not a prophet. You Muslims are desperate trying to refute me. I, I laugh at you. I use your books and you say to me, Is Ibn Kathir your, your teacher? Ibn Kathir is your teacher, not mine. Is Imam Murra is your teacher? I'm going to destroy your career. Thank you very much for destroying my career. You mentioned something to me. It's very funny and we are laughing at it. So my friend, why don't leave Islam? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, I need some time, I have to... My friend, you just say this is stupid, and you were, when I told you this is a story of my grandfather, you laugh at me. You hurt my feeling. Why you don't admit that this is stupid, and they cannot come be from God, so why you need to think about it? No, I mean, this interpretation, like that, I told you, maybe this interpretation... Who cares about the interpretation? I show it to you from the Quran. I show it to you from the Quran. Is the Quran interpretation too? Is the story in the Quran is interpretation? How long is going to take for a termite to eat a stick of a king? What do you think? Five minutes? Ten minutes? One no, month? I mean like, this story doesn't make sense at all. Like maybe exactly, but this is Quran now. So even if the story in Ibn Kathir is not explained. The guy, he is a king. He have the best of wood to be his staff. Imagine, what do you think the king will use? He will use a cheap wood? You know what I mean? This is a king. And this piece will be covered by gold, even if it's made from wood. So how long is it going to take the termite to eat it? This is Suleiman, the Muslim. They say that his, 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 his army... Uh, 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 was it 300 mile long? Yeah, he. they say that like he's the king of all jinns. He, yeah. he has a controller. So, so imagine how, how, what kind of a staff he have in his hand. And now he is dead. 
holding the staff and the termites start chewing it. First of all, people who come, the servants, and this is a house of a king. Nobody noticed that there is a termite eating the staff. I'm talking now about the Quran alone. Read with me carefully. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I'm seeing yeah, the screen. So Didn't imagine, the screen. yeah, so forget about the story in the Kathir. There is, you are a king and you are holding the staff and you are dead. But there's termite are eating the steak and nobody notice. I mean, do you know how many servants this guy he have? Do you know how many times they clean the room he have? He is a king. This is not even, his, this is one of the most powerful kings supposedly. So how in the world they are eating the termite and nobody noticed the termite? Maybe it was one termite only hiding behind the stake. <laughs> or maybe, you know, the termite, each time they open the door, they run away like a Mickey Mouse, you know, like, you know, like they hide. What do you think? Yeah, this is just like it doesn't make any sense at all, this one. So why you don't say I'm out of Islam, my friend? Yeah, I mean, I need some time. I I don't know because it's why you tough. Need some right? time. Like, you just say it doesn't make sense. You just say this is stupid. You just made, made fun of my grandfather who died the same way, by the way, I told you. And you did not. You hurt my feeling. I'm hurt, by the way, by the way no, from you. But I will forgive you. It's okay. So, uh, 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 Imam Mura forgive you too. So, how in the world you don't believe in such a story? It's a stupid story, and you agree. And now you are saying to me, I need to think. Think about what? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, just say I am out of Islam, my friend. Be brave. I mean, I need some time. Maybe I'll get in touch with you in a couple of days. Like, why the story? Are you are you waiting for the termite to come to you? No, I mean, I. Be honest with me. Do you have a steak at home, and you are going to try it? I think you are going to do no. this. You are going no, to bring no, no, your no, grandfather. No. I, listen, I think, I think, I, I got it. I think you are going to bring your grandfather back from the grave. You make him stand, hold the stick, and see how it works. Is that what you will do? No, I, I mean, yeah, let me look into the, uh, this what thing. Into? You know, I mean, it's in front thing of you, I'm, my friend. What's wrong with you? Why no, you no, I mean, this thing I'm, this thing I'm 100% sure, like, but, like, I just if can't, one like, thing, if one thing is obviously a lie, isn't it clear that the rest is a lie too? This is God talking. If Muhammad, he lie about this, well, Muhammad is a liar then. Doesn't matter if he lie in two or four or five or seven. Lie is a lie. Yeah, let me let me think and I'll. Uh, okay, I cannot force you, I'll you know, but I advise yeah, you then to go okay. to go and buy a stick. You can buy from Amazon. I can give you a link. You know, there's a nice stick, and uh, not only that, you know, I advise you to buy a stick which will not rust and no termite can eat it. So you can, you know, your grandfather can stay uh, standing up for ten years, ten thousand years. You know, it's very easy. Just hold the stick and die. You know, I know a guy actually. You know, this was was like long, long time ago. Uh, you know, he was uh, uh, walking uh, down the street, and he's old. He's like 3,000 years old. And he's holding the stick in his hand, and then suddenly he stopped walking. At first, in the beginning, we thought that the battery is off, because he have a, a battery for his heart. You know, don't take me wrong. So, uh, uh, and then uh, nobody, not, like, he's, you know, people go, people die, funeral walk by, generation after generation after generation. And then nobody noticed that he's dead. Why? Because he was holding a very good quality stick. So my friend, it's time for a commercial break. So if you want to live and stay alive for a long time and nobody notice, you are dead, but nobody will notice. Brother, buy a stick which cannot rust and no termite can eat it. What do you think? No, no, it's not like... What do you mean? Uh, no, no. I, I, you are hurting my feeling now. Really. You don't believe the story of my grandfather, which is taught to me by Imam Mura, and you don't want to, uh, you know, to uh, give me a solution then. So what we will do, you know, the guy, he is holding a stick and he is dead. 
you know this is a true story you know i i'm not i'm i'm not really happy with the what what you are saying because you should be a believer and you should accept the truth that this is absolutely a correct story you know no, the story i cannot accept this story because it doesn't then, make any then sense you don't at accept, all. then you don't accept islam then do you accept islam or you don't that i cannot just say like i I still have say, to go But you just said you don't accept the story, so you don't accept Islam. This is the story of Islam. This is the God of Islam. So do you accept the story? You said no. So you just told Allah you are a liar. And you're not in the same time by saying that. You said Muhammad is a liar too. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll check with this, like, you know, someone else, like maybe so, some so scholars. So you are not, you are not, you know, obviously, in your heart, you are out of Islam, but you are not brave enough to say, uh, I am out. You are just saying, I will check, I will check, I will check. What check? It's no, I mean, I wanted to know, I wanted to know their perspective and like how they would say, like. But they will say, I just showed you Ibn Kathir. <laughs> who, who, is, who is higher, Ibn Kathir or this guy, Abdul, who is, you know, you don't even speak Arabic. Who is higher, Ibn Kathir or Al-Qurtubi or Al-Tabari or Ibn Abbas? Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, the one who Muhammad prayed to Allah to make him the, the ink of the nation, which means the one who can explain the Quran. Why you yeah, are you, me... why are you yes. brave enough to say, I am out of Islam, my friend? No, I'm, I'm not saying that like, uh, I'm... I just need some time, like I have to eat more some and time. maybe it's in the front I will, of you. Listen, I'll be, to, uh, yes, be, yes. Honest, be honest with me. Is the story in the front of you, is it clear to be fraud? Uh, fraud, I don't know, but like this story doesn't make any sense at all. That's I'm sure. Okay, what doesn't make sense? So what does that mean? You are the one when I said, I told you, this is my grandfather who died. He said to me, you gave me a good logical explanation. You said his body would be de de decomposed, right? Of course, yes. Okay, so he's holding a stick or not? Who cares? Even if he's laying down in bed, he will he will be decomposed, correct? Yes, of course. So not only this story doesn't make sense; it's a stupid story. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, I'll uh, just, uh, I have to think, like, maybe... Okay, I cannot force you. Okay. Obviously, yes, you are, you are I, I don't know, maybe you are afraid to say life on air that you are out of this garbage. But my friend, obviously, you are out for me. And I'm happy for you that you are out of Islam because obviously you don't believe in the garbage of Muhammad. Is there anything you want to say to me? Yeah, that's all. Like, if I have any doubts, like, let, I will call you. Like, what do you have of any doubt? Already, you reject the story. You read my story about my grandfather hurting my feeling, and you heard the feeling of Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, now, and now you are not going to go to heaven, and your penis will not be long. I'm, I feel sorry for you. Because the Prophet, he promised the good believers their penis will be endless. So now, you will not have the good penis, and you will not have the virgins who they are waiting for you. And each time you make them lose their virginity, Allah will make them virgin again. You know, there's a uh, there's a Chinese product, by the way. It's very well known in the Middle East. They call it virgin again. Made in China. You know, they use it there. Because all of them, they are virgins. All of them. They have zero non-virgin in the Middle East. Zero, trust me. Very decent. Yeah. So, uh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you know, you already are of Islam. Why you don't say it? But it's okay. It's up to you. You don't want to say it. And you are hurting my feeling now. I need to, you know, to take a break maybe for a month. He does not believe the story of my grandfather, which is a true story told to me by my grandmother. She have witnesses, by the way. She have her cat. She was there. She have her dog was there too. And even she have, uh, you know, a signature from my grandfather saying this is how I died. Because after he died, I didn't tell you the story. This is the rest of the story. After he died and he was holding the stick, so, well, you know, my grandmother, she said to him, oh, we have a check we need to sign. Are you there? He didn't answer. So she put a pen in his hand, and then because he's holding the stick in the other hand, you remember that. So she put the pen in his hand, and she moved his hand like, and he made signature. So she have his signature too. And all of this, sister, you don't believe it, and you hurt your feel, my feeling. So my friend, 
you are out of Islam, you say it or not. And you know that. What do you think? No, I mean, uh, I, I just need some time. Like, uh, what you said is like, I agree that like... Uh, you agree, I thank you. Not... You agree, Islam is a garbage. Yes, you yes. agree. You agree, that's it, you say it. Islam is, is a stupid religion, you agreed. Thank you very much. So, so you, are not, you don't want to say, you know, uh, there is something holding you, but you agreed. You agreed that Muhammad is a fraud because this is a lie. You agreed that this is a, this is a stupid story. You agreed that this is, cannot be from God. So what is left? You are out of Islam. Yeah, you know, like uh, some concerns, like I have to be. My friend, I'm happy for you that you left Islam. And if you if you have any questions in the future, feel free to call me. I will be happy to take you. All right. OK, thank you. Thank you very much. OK, thank you. Ex-Muslim. Thank you very much for your Change time. your name. Okay. Make it ex-Muslim. Ex-Abdul. Take care. OK, thank you. All right. He called as an Abdul, he left as an ex Abdul. Do we have any Muslim? Any Abdul? I mean, what I hate about people really, they don't really respect my true stories. Like the story I told you about my grandfather. And by the way, the story about my grandfather is mentioned by Imam Murrah. I will make you Muslims pay for Imam Murrah. Just wait. Who is the one behind this story? Imam Murrah. Who learned this story? Who is teaching Muhammad this story? Imam Murrah. Did Muhammad learn from Imam Murrah? Or he learned from Allah? That's a good question. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? And I don't know why they don't believe those my story. I mean, my story is even make more sense than the story of Muhammad. You know, I mean, my grandfather wasn't a king. You know, but, uh, we can make it to work. But this guy is a king. He have ministers. He have uh, you know. He have armies. He have army uh, uh, generals. You know. I mean. All those, all those people who they are under the authority of the king, they did not notice the king is dead. I mean, let us say a guy, he is there sitting in a chair for eight hours. You talk to him, he don't answer. You put your hand in front of his face, he don't blink. Do you need to be a genius to know that the guy is dead? Mm. True story. And you know the funny, the Muslim they get upset when I call them Abdul. When they are the one who when they call me, you remember the Sheikh Abdul Wadud? Even his name is Abdul Wadud. He said to me, I will give you an example. There's a guy, his name is Abdullah, and the other guy, his name is Abdul. Go watch the debate. Go watch it. Isn't it the Quran says that uh, Muhammad is Abdul uh, uh, Abdul? And you are Abdul? Abdul. The religion of Abdul. Who is a Muslim would like to call us one more time? We will take one more call. And uh, do we did we have a good time, guys? Did we have a good time? Don't forget, please, to leave your comment, because the more comment you leave, the more more Abdul they will read, and the more YouTube will see that there is uh, there is an action here, so they can, uh, you know, like uh, suggest my uh, the videos, which is our videos, not really mine, for everybody. So what we learned today, we learned that Muhammad is anti farming. Muhammad he believed that anyone do farming. Anyone have any tool of farming? Like you, you do in your yard. Allah will humiliate you. Why? Because this is the devil. The devil, he want people to kill each other to make living. We learned that Muhammad, 
he consider Islam the same as a snake Islam is a snake start as a snake coming out from the hole in the ground and not only Islam as a spread Islam as a faith is a snake going back to its hole I find it very very nice of Muhammad to describe his religion as a serpent crawl back into the hole which is the where it is coming from and you guys when you share my books we have many many translation for free Russian Chinese even Indian languages recently uh, Indonesian Malaysia uh, you know you name it Albanian Croatian French German English we have tons of languages thank God Maybe my book soon will be number one translated book exposing Islam in the world. We are together putting the serpent back in it is whole. And the devil he speak of knowledge. The devil Muhammad he speak of knowledge. He knew this is what will happen. When the Muslim they say that Islam is dying, the truth is Islam is dead already. It's not dying. But now it is time for Islam to go back to its hole because what is left is the tail or maybe the head. So, if you, remember, Ali Dawa if you remember this video, it is budget for you. Where the Muslims cry out for the numbers of people who leave Islam every day. Every day. To show that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. A tsunami. Do you understand now why Muhammad is saying Islam will go back to its hole? Because it is tsunami. If you go and see how many Muslims in Indonesia watch my videos, you will not believe it. The number is scary. It's very strange that number one people who watch my videos in the world, they are coming from the biggest Islamic country in the world. As you know, we don't keep my videos here for long. But if you go and see my videos in the Indonesian channels, you will find a million of you, 900,000 view, 600,000 view, where are those people coming from? Indonesia. Islam is going to go back in the hole soon. And with your support, we are going to make it go back faster. So we pray for Indonesia to see the truth. We pray for the Muslims in Indonesia. We love them. We don't hate them. Not only for the Christians in Indonesia. We pray for the Muslims. We don't hate the Muslims. And we will not hate them, even though Islam teach them to hate us. For we are following the good Lord. And the good Lord, he said it clearly. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. God loves you, Muslims. But do you love him? You are following the serpent. You are worshipping the wrong person who created you. Instead of 
worshiping the one who created you, you are worshiping the wrong person. That's what I meant. So remember carefully, all what Muhammad said, if the Muslim, they will say Muhammad is wrong about Islam will go back to its hole. That means the Muslims are in denial of their prophet too. They don't want to believe their prophet because their prophet bringing embarrassment for them. And now what the Muslim, they will say, they will say, CP, the one who said this hadith, he's reported from this guy, to this guy, to this guy. But Muhammad ibn al-Umari, he's very well known to be a fraud brother. This is why we don't accept this hadith, but this is in Sahih al-Bukhari. This is in Sahih Muslim. What's wrong with those people? Anything is an embarrassment. They deny it. So I want to say thank you for being here. I hope we had a good time together. Don't please forget to share the, the, the link with everybody. Let everyone see the truth and the truth will set them free. Make comment because that will increase the view too. And I want to see people not saying thank you, CP. Please don't thank me. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for you gave us knowledge. Thank you, Lord, for you gave us tools to know knowledge. Thank you, Lord, you provide us with people who share knowledge. Thank you, Lord. There's only one to thank. No man you should be thankful for. Thank you, Lord. So don't leave a comment saying thank you, CP. I want people to leave a comment. Smart one can help somebody else. Help somebody with your comment. And actually the topic today I made is just because one of the comments somebody made. It was a smart comment. So those who they really think they should be thinking how we can help other person who is going to watch or read comments, maybe we can teach him something. Pause the verse from the Bible. Give respond a comment from the Bible about what you heard. Make a response of a Muslim comment. By doing that, my friend, the Lord will recognize you. It's a comment, doesn't cost even money. The Lord, he says, from their fruits, you shall know them. If you don't even have the time for a comment, what do you have for the Lord? Thank you very much. I wish you a great Saturday. And I pray to the Lord to open the eyes of the Muslims. We love them. We don't hate them. Hate is from the devil. And that is Islam. The Bible says, love never fail. And we are successful. If we hate the Muslims, those Muslims will not leave Islam. You see, the one who is making best of my videos, actually, he is an ex-Muslim. He is in the chat right now. Him and his family, they left Islam. If we hated this guy, if we teach hate against him, neither him, neither his family, they will accept Jesus. We have admins right now here with us. They are ex-Muslims. Isn't this wonderful? Why? Because Jesus loves them. Same we do. So don't let hate overcome you, conquer your heart and make you follower of Muhammad. Because even if you are not a Muslim and you have hate, Shaitan, Satan, he conquered you. He overcome your heart. So be good as your Lord is good. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you all. We pray for the Muslims for their salvation, to see the truth. We pray for the Christians to be, to be awake and to be active and to do the good work for the Lord because time will come and time will go and you will die and nobody will remember you except remembering what you did. Thank you. God bless you and see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you for today humbly. Take care. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith.
The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 